What is good Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider Alex back with yet another video for you guys. Anybody that's new to the channel and you guys love Raider related content just like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. That being said, let's jump right into the topic of this video. The NFL draft is right around the corner. Just one more day until draft day and the wait will finally be over. We will finally figure out who the Las Vegas Raiders have selected with their first overall pick. This not only will be the first NFL draft under Raiders head coach Antonio Pierce, but it will also be the first draft of Tom Telesco as the Raiders general manager. So this will just be a big moment for these two. They got to start this new era of the Raiders strong. And it really starts with the first round and addressing some key needs that this football team has. Personally, the way I'm looking at this draft, the way I'm kind of approaching the first round, I'm really prioritizing and taking a look at our team needs. And to me, the biggest team needs we have starts with the quarterback position. After that, I think it's gonna be that right tackle spot, the offensive tackle position. And you know, we got some other needs at the offensive guard position. You could argue at cornerback, we have a slight need there as well, but you know, those positions are not as big of a need compared to quarterback and offensive tackle. And those are positions you can very well wait on later in the draft and get some good players at those positions. So really the way I'm looking at it in the first round, I either want us to take a quarterback or to get a right tackle. If we can just walk out of that first day with one of those two positions checked off, or hey, you never know, maybe we get aggressive and trade back into the later half of the first round and maybe address both these needs. But at the bare minimum, if we can get one of these positions, I would be happy with our selection. Now, obviously the tricky part of this whole situation is who exactly they will target. With the Raiders being at 13, it makes it a little bit difficult for them to target Heisman Trophy winner Jaden Daniels. Everything seems to indicate that that's the quarterback that's on the top of our radar. We know the connection that Antonio Pierce has with him. And just in general, he's the most electrifying quarterback prospect I've seen in this year's draft. And you could very well argue he's the best quarterback prospect in the draft. I know a lot of people will say Kayla Williams is over him. And I definitely don't knock that. But I think the comparison is a lot closer than a lot of people are making it out to be. We have gotten reports that indicate that the Raiders have tried to move up to the number two overall pick with the Washington Commanders, but everything seems to indicate that the Washington Commanders will not trade out of that pick. It seems like they are destined to draft the quarterback at number two. Now, just really the biggest question mark is who will they select at number two? I mean, everything seems to indicate that they will take Jaden Daniels. And if that's the scenario, well, there's nothing really the Raiders could do at that point. They try to make a trade with them, but at the end of the day, it takes two people to make a trade happen. And if the Washington Commanders just are really that sold on Jaden Daniels, they will take him. You know, I've said this many times, the Commanders hired offensive coordinator Cliff Kingsbury for a reason. And that's because he has a solid track record of working with young quarterbacks. So it's almost a guarantee that they're gonna take a quarterback. Now, you never know, maybe they don't take Jaden Daniels. I mean, a couple months ago, the consensus was it was gonna be Caleb one, Drake May two. But now it seems like Jaden Daniels is gonna be that second overall prospect on the board at the quarterback position. But you just never know, they may take Drake May or they could even shock everybody and maybe take Michigan's JJ McCarthy. Now look, JJ McCarthy was a prospect I really liked a couple months ago just because I thought he was very likely gonna be like a late first round pick, potentially a second round player, but he's been getting a lot of hype as of late and it almost seems like a guarantee that he's gonna go in the top 10. And like I said, you never know, maybe they shock us and they take JJ McCarthy or Drake May. And in that scenario, that's really the only chance the Raiders are gonna have to get Jaden Daniels because we know New England is completely open to accepting a trade to accumulate more draft picks. They have a lot of needs. And if that happens, the Raiders will be in business. They will get on the phone with New England. And ultimately at that point, it's just gonna be a bidding war between the Raiders and possibly the Vikings. So it still would be pretty tough, but at the end of the day, they put themselves in a position to legitimately get him. And I guess at that point, they'll just have to see how much are they willing to pay for Jaden Daniels. So really, that's going to be the biggest X factor. What does Washington do at two? But look, I've talked a lot about the Jaden Daniels situation. But given the scenario that 
he's not obtainable, that he doesn't get drafted by us. We can't make a move up for him. He gets selected at two by Washington. You know, I think the next couple alternatives are still a really good option for the Raiders. The next option for us, if we're going to target quarterback, is I think we should go after Washington's Michael Penix Jr. I mean, Michael Penix Jr. on tape has looked very strong time in and time out. He's done a great job connecting on deep passes with great accuracy and ball placement. The guy can just sling the football. He's an athletic quarterback. He can throw on the move. But what I like about him is he's a more traditional pocket passer. But if he has to, he can use his legs, which is something I definitely like. And just in general, he's a very talented player. Really the only reason why we have a legitimate chance to get him is just that injury history. He's been healthy the last two seasons. And I think another ideal scenario is if Michael Penix Jr. dropped to us at 13. But honestly, as I get closer to the draft, I think that's not going to happen either. I think especially too if all these quarterbacks go off the board. Let's say at 1, 2, and 3, quarterbacks go off the board. And let's say J.J. McCarthy maybe gets selected at 6 or something of that nature. I mean, at that point, Michael Penix Jr. will be the next best quarterback up. There's other teams like the Minnesota Vikings, the Denver Broncos who need a quarterback as well. So I think there's probably a very realistic scenario where we have to trade up just a little bit to secure Michael Penix Jr. But luckily, I definitely see Michael Penix Jr. fall into like 8 or 9. And I think at that point, the Raiders could try to move up make a trade with the Chicago Bears at number nine or the Atlanta Falcons at number eight. And the thing is to move up in that scenario is not gonna be as nearly as much as it would for Jaden Daniels. I mean, for a guy like Jaden Daniels to move up, you're talking about probably a bare minimum of three first round picks and then some. But to move up for Penix in that scenario, I think you'd probably just have to give up like a next year's first, a second, something of that nature, but it's gonna be a lot more attainable. And I do think that would be a good situation for us as well. If we can get a potential franchise quarterback with the talent of a guy like Michael Penix Jr., look, I'm totally for it. Jaden Daniels is my number one target, but if we can't, I'm totally fine with Penix. Like I said, ideally, if he falls to 13, to me, that's a no-brainer. You know, if that happens, I'm running to the podium and putting the pick in. But as we get closer, I don't really see that happening. So really, those are two of the scenarios that I think would work out really well for us. And I think even if those two options fall through, if we can't get either one of those quarterbacks, I think another good option for us would just be to stand put and draft the best offensive tackle available on the board. You know, in the scenario where I mentioned where all these quarterbacks are going off the boards, like imagine a scenario where in the top 10, Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, Drake May, JJ McCarthy, Michael Penix Jr. And who knows, maybe even if Bo Nix gets drafted that high or if the Denver Broncos select him at 12, at that point, you're very likely going to have a very good offensive tackle that can fulfill the role at the right tackle position for us. You very likely will have a blue chip offensive tackle available for you at that point. And I think right there, I mean, you can't really go wrong getting an offensive tackle, especially if Oregon State's Talisi Fuaga falls or if JC Latham is there. So really, I kind of see that being the worst case scenario for us. And even then, that's not a bad situation for us. I mean, I still would be a little bit disappointed because we still haven't locked in the quarterback position. And I think the drop off between like a Michael Penix Jr. and like some other quarterbacks like Spencer Radler, uh, Jordan Travis, these other quarterbacks, I think there is a big drop off. But really, if we get a right tackle of the future in a worst case scenario, that is not a bad situation for us at all. I think the Raiders are in a good spot to make a big move come Thursday night. I really hope we can get our quarterback of the future or our right tackle of the future. But there's definitely a lot of different ways this draft can pan out for us in the first round. There's a scenario where we trade up. There's a scenario where maybe we stay put at 13 and maybe trade back into the first round. Shoot, maybe they trade back and just accumulate more draft picks. But ultimately, I think the biggest X factor will be what Washington does at two. I think that's just really gonna dictate what our next move would be come draft night. But Raider Nation, those are my thoughts and opinions. Heading into the NFL draft that is right around the corner. I definitely want to get your guys' opinion though. What do you guys think we should do 
in the first round come Thursday? Let me know in the comment section down below. But with that being said, Raider Nation, that's all for you guys in today's video. Anybody that's new to the channel, you guys love Raider-related content just like this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.